Now let's review this figure 17-28, dealing with wiring methods when you have conductor bending radiuses involved in accordance with 300.34. Now notice the radius of these conductors with your bending radius, if it's a shielded type cable, is 12 times the diameter of the cable. If it's a leaded type cable, 12 times the diameter of the cable. Non-shielded cables, and it's just eight times the diameter of the cable. Now, you know these uh, potheads, uh, just one time in my career did I ever have to uh, use lead and solder it uh, and, and uh, you know, build up a, a stress cone around uh, these uh, shields coming in to these insulators. Only one time in my career I had to do that, and it took a little while for me to get the hang of it. But, but this gives you the bending radiuses so that you don't damage the shield or the lead, uh, and then your non-shield is less than that because it, it, you don't, you're not involved with the shield or lead. The switch gear now, again, is 490.48B as in boy 5, as well as 490.47. Now, the note says for conductors entering switch gear, C490.34, and for supply terminals and uh, terminations, C490.44A. Now, notice the radius we're talking about here with the cable. It's eight times non shielded type cable, so as you see in the radius of conductors. And that's exactly what our figure 17-28 uh, is illustrating to the user of the NEC dealing with conductor bending radiuses using wiring methods.